now let's get to this problem. Mm, ah, so now we have a rational function. And what did we talk about with the last one with the rational function? We said we can't have the denominator equal to 0, right? Denominator cannot equal 0. Now, in the example I gave you, it was kind of obvious, x minus 3. Like, it's obvious. 3 is the only number. This is that lovely quadratic. Oh, crap. That means we have to factor. Yeah, we're going to have to factor in this class. So don't worry. We're going to be getting a lot of practice for you guys. But basically, guys, again, going to the same restriction over here, if we want to find the implied domain, the easiest way to do this is just say, well, I have a rational function. So I just need to find what are the values that make the denominator 0, because those are going to be the numbers that are not in my domain. Right? Yes? Does that make sense? So what you're going to do is take the denominator and set it equal to 0. And those are the values that are not in the domain. So I take x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And guys, it's like going back to algebra 2 now. Now we just need to factor and solve. right? You could have to use quadratic formula. I mean, we could get some crazy problems in here. Fortunately for you, I chose a problem that's rather really easy factorable. It's a perfect square trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give you 4, add to give you negative 4? You could say, oh, that's x minus 2 times x minus 2. And from here, you could use the zero product property, if you remember that. Um, or you could you write it as a binomial squared and use the zero product property, or use the square root method. A couple different ways to do it, and there's pluses and minuses of the understanding. But either way, guys, we get one answer here, all right? Uh, or one solution here of 2. And again, we verify, does 2 make the denominator equal to 0? And yes, that answer is. Is that the only number that's going to make the denominator 0? No? You got another one? I'll take them. What else? Yeah. Right? That's the, that, you, set, you just solved this, right? So if we, want to find the, if we want to find the domain, then we say, all right, well, then 2 is the only number not in the domain. So that's an open circle. That means the domain is all other numbers. So if I need to write my domain, I would say negative infinity to, uh, to 2. And you could do like union 2 to infinity. All right? You don't need to use the union, but do you guys see how we can connect those? Huh? Question? Yeah, sorry. That's like a 2. Let's look at 10. I a lot of times do my graphs not with 0 in the middle. I just pick whatever the number is or one number is. 